Hey guys, um, before I do my um, advent calendar uh, for day three, uh, there's a few um, furry things I need to bring up for uh, for today. And uh, the news for uh, November has been pretty much dead. It's been dominated by just one thing, and I'm not even going to mention what it is. But um, yeah, there's two things that came up on my feed today, and unfortunately, they're not good news. Um, some time ago, uh, it was like a, a couple years ago, I, uh, had did a, a viewing of, of an, um, the premiere of, uh, the rebooted DuckTales, and, uh, I have gotten word that, uh, season three is coming up, and it will be the final season of the reboot, which is really unfortunate to, uh, to hear, because... Because I said that it did really well with, with a reboot. I'm not sure why they came to this decision. Whether they thought that this was good, a good place to end. Or if it had anything to do with uh, financial stuff. I really don't know. But um, season 3 will be the last uh, season. Uh, so this is going to be your last chance to... Um, see any more of the new episodes i'm sure they're going to be rerunning uh the the other episodes but um this is pretty much all the uh, new to uh, new content that you're going to get and the other uh thing that has come up is that uh the pandemic uh, has now claimed a fur con we got one that is uh shutting down uh for good and this, uh, I believe this is one that's been around for quite a, um, quite a long time. And it's, uh, F.A. United. Uh, how, when, when would, did, when did it start? Uh, it started back in 2007, so... It was like one year before I started getting active uh, in in fur cons. But here is the letter that they put out. It is with much regret that uh, we are formally announcing FA United is closing its doors. This is not a decision made lightly, but unfortunately COVID-19 has brought forth too many complications and risks for a small convention like ours to operate safely and successfully. The world around us has changed in the past year and not for the better. It's difficult to know what lay in store for the future due to the current pandemic. And that takes that makes planning and organizing a convention an extremely difficult task in these current times. We're sad to have deliver, to deliver this news. Over the years, we've formed a fantastic bond with our attendees and brought together incredible talent and personalities to entertain one and all. We've got a lot of great memories from Newark to Mount Laurel, from Hanover to Herndon. FA United may have been a small con, but uh, we were mighty in heart. We want to thank each and every one of you for joining us over the, past, the over the years. We've had a lot of great times, amazing memories, fantastic performances, and we owe it all to you. You've been fantastic, and we'll never forget the great times. Remember to stay safe and wear a mask. Uh, so long and thanks for all the fish, uh, Dragoneer and the FA United team. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, <coughs> uh, so uh, the so this con was uh, uh, was around for um, twelve. It would be twelve cons, correct? One, two, three, four. F no, no, they skipped two thousand nine. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, um, so yeah, so this uh, pandemic has claimed a con. So this one is permanently uh, going to be gone. Uh, so now, um, oh, one more thing and uh, just something unrelated. Um. Now I've shown you, I've gotten into wood turning now and I want to show you one of my latest creations. I actually had a friend of mine uh, ask me to do this and it was to make a goblet 
Now, now this is the first time I've ever made one of these, and I have to say that I think this came out very, very well. This is made out of uh, angelique uh, wood, which is a pretty dense wood. Uh, when I uh, went boring out um, the the uh, the cup, my uh, drill bit started smoking. So that's how dense that wood is, and. This has an oil-based finish. It's not like any of the finishes I've shown in my previous videos. This is uh, finished with walnut oil. And unlike the uh, the shellac, the polyurethane, and the um, and the lacquer that I've used in the, in the previous videos, see, those are film-based uh, finishes. Uh, walnut oil is a penetrating uh, finish where it seeps into the wood and and creates um, the durable finish and um and, the, and this person asked me uh to do something specific with this is that's to drill a hole into the stem i don't know if you can see it on the camera uh let me see if it, yeah there uh maybe you can see the yeah uh, maybe it's hard to pick up on the camera but you can see the hole that i drilled on there that's a 3 8 hole and that's because he wants me to put uh, a magnet up underneath the cup. And I'll let you take a guess as to why he wants me to put a magnet under um, underneath the cup. But um, I'm very happy with how that turned out. And um, I, um, I'll be making more of those. And in fact, I am making another, another bowl. This time out of uh, mesquite. Uh, which I never thought I, I, um, I would be using uh, to, to make stuff with because I guess the thing we have mesquite over here for is for barbecue. But anyway, um, enough talk. Let's go to day three of the advent calendar. Now, yesterday we had Meowth. All right, where is number three at? Where are you? Uh, all the way on the bottom. So, number three. Who do we have? It is, well, this is different. Well, that's disappointing. It's not a Pokemon. It's it's just a Christmas tree. Well, that that's disappointing. I was expecting something to be under there, but no, it's just a prop. Well, that sucks. Well, I'm glad I filled stuff in for this video because I was expecting something more. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to wait till tomorrow for a new Pokemon then. Well, so, so sorry for that. But so in the meantime, we still have Meowth here. We still have Eevee. So uh, we'll try again tomorrow, see if we actually get a Pokemon there. But until then, stay safe, everybody. I'll see you guys tomorrow.